it's complex. So I am very firmly, everyone, of the view that the Labour caucus, including the leadership of our outfit, um, firmly believes that the rate of New Start is not adequate. You've even got people like Jennifer Westercott from the Business Council and, bless him, John Howard even saying it's not adequate. So I think that within um, many circles, including importantly our circle, that there is an acceptance of that. But I have not won that argument in the court of public opinion. I don't know about Adelaide, but in Sydney you've got the Alan Joneses of the world, you've got the Daily Telegraph, which we affectionately call the Daily Terror. Um, we've got Ray Hadley and the, um, the attitude that uh, houses, bludgers, druggies don't deserve an increase in payment, which is just wrong. So part of what we've got to do is win the court of public opinion so that there is support for a change in the rate of New Start. Why a review? Um, it is easy and, and uh, easy to say, well, why don't you just increase the rate? You can't just increase the rate without building the, building the, the case for it. We're talking about several, several billion dollars of extra expenditure. That's uh, one thing. But we're also talking about how the various payments that are related to age or status or whatever interact with each other. If you're a new start, are you also receiving rent assistance and energy supplement? How does it relate to um, single parent payments? How does it relate to childcare payments? And the interaction of all those payments are not simple. So the review, I promise, is not going to be some long drawn out exercise. The review is a genuine, um, a genuine uh, review that will happen very quickly. And we're already putting together who we want to do the review um, to lead for me, as the, as the hopefully minister, to be able to mount the case for an increase within the cabinet and with the people that are responsible for budget. Does that make sense to you? So it's not the greatest answer, I know, but it's the honest answer.